Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. No. 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 Yeah! Athens Rhythm Hop. Athens Rhythm Hop. Welcome to Street Smart Swing, folks. My name is Jamin Jackson. I am the online umpire for all things Lindy Hop. I am super excited to scrutinize another Lindy Hop video. This is one of my favorite things to do, aside from creating fresh Lindy Hop moves that people haven't seen before. Um, I love looking for those people out there who are actually contributing to the art form actively. Not those people that just want to kind of be a part of it and um, you know show up, show up to events, party, have fun. I'm looking for the dancers who have something to say for the future generation of dancers. And I believe this competition is a solo jazz competition. So how can you even judge solo jazz? It's like subjective, right? I don't like her skirt, I like his hair, I like those moves, I don't know. But here, here's something we talk about in my school here at Street Smart Swing. We talk about why things look a certain way, why things are subjective versus why things are objective. And so one of the things I'm gonna be looking for as a judge in this competition is to see who can make their movements look vintage. Now, what does that even mean? How do you make your moves look vintage? Well, if you notice from 21st century all the way back down to the early 20th century. People danced differently. Each decade had a different style, derivative of many different things that they learned from previous generations. But the fundamental thing that made the movements in the past look the way they looked is because of the isolation of the torso. Most of the dances back then were based on the footwork. You had your tap and most of your Hollywood movies that were happening at the time. So Jazz at the time was shifting so that the focus was on the lower part of the body. The upper part moves a little bit, but the lower part is the main part. So I'm going to be looking to see who can make their movements fit a vintage motif and not just like trying everything in the moment and calling it jazz, right? Because in a way it is the improvisational aspects of what they're going to do. But stylistically, I want to be able to look at it as a judge and say who can control it and make it look vintage. So I'm gonna be looking at control number one, but I'm also gonna be looking for creativity. I want to see something I haven't seen before. I wanna see a unique personality, something new. And if I don't see something new, I'm gonna be looking for something old done a different way. That might be slightly new, right? So let's get right into this video. And here we Go. All right. All right. I like that logo. I like it. Here we go. Oh, this is good. I like. I like to see when the tempo's slow like this. See what see what they actually do, and not just do like quintessentially uh, Charleston. Yes. Yes. Oh, he had the perfect part of the music. That's good. She's got the audience backing her up.
Ah. I'm seeing a little bit of personality. I am seeing a little bit of copycatism. I don't know if I like that. But we'll see. Yes! Rhythm Hop. 
I'm assuming this event's about to happen again since this is the end of 2019 and January's coming up. I'm sure they're promoting. So if you don't want to miss out, I encourage you to go to this event. It looks like it's really fun. I haven't been to Athens in a long time. I think the first time I went, uh, it was amazing. It was amazing. I had some good food, some good times with people, and I was there on my birthday, which made it even more exciting. So if I haven't, if you haven't been there before, I encourage you to get to that event. Sounds like a great event. Now, let me put my judge face on. Let me vent a little bit. I told you that I'm going to be looking for something that I haven't seen. I didn't see that much that I hadn't seen. But I did see something uh, done a different way. So there will be some grace in my judgment. My critical analysis here says either new or something done a different way. And number one for me, out of all the, actually, let me start at number three. Number three for me was the gentleman in the dark brown suit. Clearly, he had the best control, which is how do you make your body move? How do you make it look vintage? He clearly had the best control. More entertaining to watch because of that. If I didn't know anything about solo jazz, I would say, you know what? He looks like a professional. And that's why he got third place for me in my mind. It's a good thing, but it's also, I can't say it's something that gets me excited. It's the same thing. I've seen it over and over from different dancers. Swap the head off, put a different dancer on there, and it, it gives me that same feeling because I am not a beginner. I'm someone who's been in the scene. But at the same time, as a judge, I can't be too critical to say craftsmanship isn't valuable. Just do something new all the time. So it would be unfair to me within my own reasoning to not even include that guy in the top three. So for me, he would be third place simply on the respect for the craft. He could do the moves, he could imitate other dancers somewhat, and their, their uh, swagger. I like that. That's good. I even do that sometimes, but I like to do it for the dancers who are dead. I don't like to do it for the dancers who are alive. That's my personal bias. That's my personal preference. So, shout out to him. He clearly had a lot of hard work uh, de being demonstrated in a very successful way in this competition. So, he got third place for me third place and I think he was the last person to go so don't get it twisted there were like two guys in suits there was one that was like a tan brown suit and one in the dark suit I'm specifically talking about the guy in the dark brown suit third place for me and you know why and you know why so the dancer that got second place for me second place and this was iffy this was iffy because what I liked about this dancer was that they weren't doing everything that looked like everybody else. There was some quirkiness to their movements. There was some personality that was very distinct to them alone. They had some cool syncopations. I wasn't looking at that. They had some phrasing that everybody does all the time. I wasn't looking at that. I was looking at the uniqueness of who they are in a way that lets me know this is potentially someone who's going to start doing new stuff. It's a little bit more creative. And they actually did a couple of things that were different. And I'm gonna say second place is the person in the light brown suit. Gentleman had a little bit of curly hair, had the nice hair going out. He did some great stuff. He did some great stuff, don't get me wrong. It may not have been as technically proficient with the more traditional moves, but the things I liked about it was that he wasn't doing just traditional moves. He wasn't. He was doing like himself. He was being himself. And I could take a snapshot and put that video in black and white footage. And I'd say, yeah, that's a vintage swing dancer. And he has personality. I can't tell who it is. If I can take you out of the video and put a silhouette there and I could mistake you for someone else, you lose points. And that's because this is about the balance of craftsmanship and artistry. And I wanna see slightly more. This is what keeps the, the dance going upward like this and not backward solely. But we gotta go backward to go upward. So 
Go figure. You gotta have both. And this gentleman had both. So for me, he did some of the stuff. So those breakaways, those half breaks, the full breaks. He was doing that, and I saw that. But it was something about his, his different personality, his quirkiness, how he was moving his head. That stood out to me. Beyond just the technical perf uh, perfection of uh, doing the same moves that we've seen before. So for me, he got second place. People would be like, what? He got second place? He wasn't as good as the guy that was third place? Why did you put him in third? He compared clip. I told you. Because I'm looking for something unique. Something different. I'm not looking for solely craftsmanship and how well you can repeat the same thing over and over. That's me. That's me. So my first place goes to the lovely dancer who went out second. She had green on. I really liked her movement. I really liked her movement. I would have been more impressed if she was a little bit more controlled, like the gentleman, the last one in the dark suit, a little bit more discipline in the torso to a little bit more restraint. But the flowy movements, that's who, that's who she is. That's her personality. I could see a snapshot of their personality. And if I took a silhouette, I could say, <clears throat> oh yeah, that's her. The girl from Athens rhythm thing. She had some unique movements. She had some traditional movements and she could execute them. It wasn't all just technique. It wasn't all just style and, and poor execution. It was right there in the middle. And that's really the, that dichotomy, that balance that we need in order for the art form to mature in a healthy way. Even bad things grow. We want the good things to grow, all right? That balance. And she had that balance. She had that balance. And I really liked it. I don't know anybody's names. I, I, I wish... Sometimes that the on the video they could have their names because I want to give them a proper shout out. I love it. I loved everyone's dancing. You know who I really liked? You know who I really liked? I liked the 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 lady that came out first. She had the yellow on. What I liked best about her dancing, I liked the organization of her phrasing. I like how she put her movements together. I could appreciate them the most because they were organized in a way that let me see what she was doing and then there was a transition and then she allowed me to see something a little different with a clear transition. I think she had some of the best transitions. The thing that was missing was the thing that the, the, the girl in the green had and that's the swagger, the confidence that's there and of course that comes later. That's the part that, that's hard to fake if you don't have it but when you have it, it's easy to fake like you're happy. You know, and, and that's annoying. That's annoying. So um, she's she's the one to watch. The first girl that came out to me, she's the she's the silent giant. <laughs> usually I say people who get like third and fourth place are usually that silent one that's going to keep working on their dancing. And something's going to happen to where they keep going up and then people say, well, where'd they come from? Well, that's what happens. They, they're the ones that have to work a little bit more on their confidence. Um, but she had the control, she had the timing, but the lack of confidence takes you out of it. I, I, I can't really appreciate it as much as I would like to. So for me, number one was the lady in the green. Can't say by far, because the, the gentleman that was in the dark brown, he was just as technically proficient. But the gentleman who had the light brown suit had the most uniqueness to me, different creativity. So. That's my opinion, guys. That's my opinion as a judge. And I like to put it out there because many judges don't put it out there. We just kind of keep it in our head and we, we have our reasons why we put you first place. And we never tell you. So I like to put it out there, what I was looking for. And generally in solo jazz competition, I'm kind of looking for that. I'm looking for the balance of craftsmanship, proper respect to the moves that came before, but not at the expense of who you are. I want to see you, I want to see newness, I want to see freshness, I want to see your weirdness. Stay weird. Keep that there. Because that's the part that people in the future will go back and say, we got to learn that move. And they'll put, they'll put words and names to your movements <laughs> when we're all old, right? So anyway, great job, guys. If you haven't done uh, this event, you need to go. You need to go to an event. It's so much fun going to the swing dance event. I went to my first one years ago, I remember, and I was blown away because I saw a jam circle, and that's what sold me. But I had to go to an event. So I encourage you guys, go to the Athens Rhythm Fest. I want to say it right, because if I get it wrong, 
No, Athens Rhythm Hop. A R H. Athens Rhythm Hop. And it looks like 2020 is going to be here in a couple of months, actually, a couple of weeks. And I think this event was like at the end of February. So it's not too late to start doing your research, get some uh, registration tickets, take one of your friends, go out there, take the risk, get out there outside of your comfort zone. I'm sure these dancers partner dance also, and they can teach you some great things that they, they're actually teaching there or will be at that event. So you need to do that. So if you guys are wanting to learn how to solo dance, it's not that hard. Like I said, keep the torso quiet and you need to learn a little bit of the old traditional movements to kind of know what basic authentic jazz is. Um, because there are some basic formats that will allow you to express yourself more freely within that context. And so um, check out some of the classes below. We got a lot of the traditional, uh, traditional routines from the past. Um, you got to learn them. You got to learn. You got to pay homage to everything that came before. And it will also unlock you. You won't feel like you're working too hard to recreate a wheel. right? So um, I encourage you to check those out. They're free and uh, it will be a real encouragement for you. So anyway, guys, who do you think won this competition? I, that's what I said who won. That's my personal bias, that's my opinion. I'd love to hear what you hear in the comment section. I wanna know what you think. Um, if I don't see you in class online, I will see you in the next reaction video. Take care.